Craig Comrie, the chief executive of ProfMed, has warned that South Africa is seeing a significant brain drain of skilled medical professionals, including nurses, which will have a long-term impact on South Africa's healthcare sector. Welcome to Brilliant Academic, the channel where we cover all things related to careers and academics. The information of today's video is courtesy of Business Tech. ProfMed is one of South Africa's largest restricted medical schemes and represents about 36,000 professional families in the country, just over half of which are doctors and nurses. Comrie said that over the last five years, between 240 and 300 doctors and their families have left annually. South Africa currently produces around 2,000 doctors a year through its various medical schools. Comrie noted that the majority of these professionals leaving are general practitioners, but this is because the country has relatively few specialist doctors to begin with, while proportionally they too are leaving. The brain drain is a result of a number of factors, including the obvious push issues such as social instability and crime in South Africa. Additionally, other countries are also attractively attracting South Africa's healthcare professionals through incentives, higher remuneration, and the option to bring their families over with them. While South Africa's doctors often have a strong sense of social responsibility and a desire to give back and work with the community, these options have become increasingly limited under the current government, while international employers are doing their utmost to attract rather than push professionals away. A particular point of concern is the country's current doctor-to-patient ratio, which has effectively halved over the last three years. This was revealed in a recent parliamentary Q&A with Health Minister Dr. Joe Pasha, who indicated that South Africa currently has a doctor-to-patient ratio of 1 to 3,198, which is worse than in 2019, where the ratio was 1 to 1,266, which in itself was already poor. Comrie warned that this would only be made worse if the government continues to forge ahead with the pressure cooker issue of the national health insurance and fails to retain and develop the healthcare skills at the required levels for the country. I'll make a video in the coming days explaining the national health insurance, so be sure to stick around on the channel. Click here to find out how much medical doctors earn. That's it you guys, thanks for watching, you check out my other videos, and as always, mischief managed.